It's time for Kino Check News. Here we bring you up to date on what's going on in Hollywood and the rest of the movie and series world. We've got new information about Deadpool 3, Mission Impossible 8, and the new Fallout series. Also, Marvel's WandaVision spinoff is getting an update and David Fincher talks about his World War Z sequel. Get to learn that and much more in this video. Enjoy! Samaritan Returns The superhero movie starring Sylvester Stallone seems to have convinced enough people in 2022 that Amazon has now confirmed work on Samaritan 2. The first movie started out as a so-called spec script. This is a script that an author writes with no commission whatsoever and then tries to pitch to Hollywood. The Samaritan script by Braji F. Schutt quickly made the rounds at the time, was eventually picked up by Amazon and cast with Sylvester Stallone as an aging superhero. The story is about a boy who is rescued by a sanitation worker. He slowly begins to suspect that the unassuming man is the superhero Samaritan, who retired 20 years ago after an epic battle with his arch enemies. The movie went straight to streaming and was a huge hit, according to Amazon. It was the most popular movie on the platform for three weeks in a row. Of course, the streaming giant would like to replicate such a success. The script for Samaritan 2 is once again said to be by Braji F. Schutt and Sylvester Stallone is also back on board, both as a producer and in the lead role. Even though the star seems to have withdrawn from his own action series The Expendables 4, the movie legend apparently still wants to have a blast. The title of the new Ghostbusters sequel has been revealed. Already two months ago, a picture made the news in which the well-known logo was completely covered in ice. Now a leak apparently reveals the official title. Many were wondering what the Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel will be called. The answer now seems clear. Ghostbusters The New Ice Age. At least that's the translation of Die Naya Eyesight in a German social media note from Sony for the press. Surely an oversight. Presumably, this info shouldn't have seen the light of day yet at least not before the official announcement. What exactly Ghostbusters The New Ice Age will be about is not yet known. However, the post credit scene of the predecessor already hinted that they will probably go back to New York to the legendary headquarters. The new film has so far been appropriately given the working title, Firehouse, named after the former fire station. Ghostbusters 2 The New Ice Age is scheduled to hit theaters on March 29, 2024. Finally, the release date for Amazon's highly anticipated Fallout series is set. The video game adaptation awaits us on April 12, 2024. Fallout is a veritable classic in video game history. Numerous games of the post-apocalyptic role-playing series have been released since 1997 and still enjoy great popularity. As early as July 2020, a series adaptation was announced by Amazon via Deadline and made fans look forward to it with great anticipation. Now, it has finally been revealed that the series will premiere on Amazon Prime Video in early 2024. The series will be produced by Christopher Nolan's brother, Jonathan Nolan, and his wife, Lisa Joy, who will also direct the first episodes. The cast includes Moises Arias, Johnny Pemberton, Aixa Kendrick, and the Hateful Eight star, Walton Goggins. The Fallout video games tell of a post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a nuclear war in 2077. The players explore the radioactively contaminated Earth and have to deal with mutants, scavengers, and strange cults. For example, apart from a good sense of humor, the style of the American 1950s is a particular characteristic of the series. According to initial information, the action will take place in post-apocalyptic LA. We are eager to find out whether the special feeling of the games will carry over to the series. We can hardly wait. It's official at last. Deadpool 3 can't meet its release date in early May. In fact, most people have suspected this for a long time, but now Disney is adding clarity. Instead, Captain America 4 might be able to come out on its original release date. The actor strike is still keeping Hollywood under control, and a number of studios have already decided to give their movies new release dates. As Deadline now reported, Disney will postpone their hotly anticipated sequel, Deadpool 3, indefinitely. Although the corporation usually sticks to its planned schedule for a long time, the movie's production, which has been at a standstill for quite some time, is now likely to have finally led to this decision. Currently, there is simply too much to do in terms of reorienting the production. Therefore, the movie will take some more time to be released. Nevertheless, there is one piece of positive news. As initial sources have already made known, Captain America 4 Brave New World could get back its original release date of May 3, 2024. The production of the action film is largely regarded as complete, 
so the chances are good that we can look forward to Sam Wilson's new adventure earlier than expected next year. World War Z 2, directed by master director David Fincher. We bet that's music to your ears. As part of the press tour for his new movie, The Killer, on Netflix, Fincher now commented on the sequel to the zombie film. The action horror starring Brad Pitt grossed a whopping $540 million in 2013, but was hardly profitable due to the high costs. This made Fincher's planned sequel a risk and led to the project being called off for the time being. Fincher had big plans. The goal was to create a similarly multi-layered work like The Last of Us. And in fact, according to the director, there would have been one or two parallels. Ultimately, he was glad that nothing came of the sequel, since the HBO series offered more basis for dealing with the topic. But Fincher also hinted that World War Z could still go ahead. A major point of criticism of Part 1 was that the action film had taken many liberties, including a different ending. When asked if the intended sequel would have been a more faithful adaptation to the work, the director said, no, no. But there is some talk of doing that. Of course, that sounds like one thing above all, a World War Z remake or reboot. A reboot that invests less money in big action and focuses more on the social and political consequences of the zombie apocalypse. Maybe we can even expect an exciting World War Z series in the style of The Last of Us. We are curious to see whether the talks about a new adaptation will bear fruit, ideally with David Fincher as producer and maybe even as a director. We'll keep you up to date, as always. Agatha Returns the WandaVision spin-off Agatha Darkhold Diaries has been on Marvel's schedule for quite some time. Now it has finally been announced when The Witch will be back, and a description of Episode 1 was provided along with it. Agatha Darkhold Diaries will kick off on September 19, 2024 with actress Katherine Hahn, who already played an impressive part in the original series, slipping back into the role of the titular witch. Disney now published a new logo of the series with the final title. Originally, the series was to be called Agatha House of Harkness, and later Agatha Coven of Chaos. It appears that a final new title has now been agreed upon. A first description of Episode 1 was also published, making you eager for more. It says that in the first episode, we see Agatha Harkness finally break out of a spell she has been trapped in. She can't wait to go back to her old murderous ways, only to find that she is powerless. The only way forward for her is to embark on a perilous quest to get her powers back with the help of an unlikely friend, or two. Which friends are they talking about? Well, that's something we can now speculate on. Catherine Hahn is joined by Aubrey Plaza as Rio, Joe Locke, as well as Patti Lapone as Lilia. Jack Schaefer, showrunner of WandaVision, will be responsible for directing. We are already looking forward to the debut of the series on September 19, 2024, and are curious to see whether it can keep up with WandaVision. More movies are being postponed. After Disney has already rescheduled several projects due to the actor strike, Paramount is now following suit. As a result, there are new theatrical release dates for the next two years. In addition to Deadpool 3, Mission Impossible 8 also had to halt its production for an indefinite period of time due to the strike and has now been given a new release date. The new mission featuring Tom Cruise, Simon Pegg, and Haley Atwell will now no longer be released on June 28, 2024, but most likely in summer of 2025 instead. The horror prequel A Quiet Place Day One also faces a slight delay of about three months and will now be screened on June 28, 2024 in the US. Next year's If, directed by John Krasinski and starring Ryan Reynolds, will be moved up a week to May 17, 2024. It's about a man who can see and talk to other people's imaginary friends. The new The SpongeBob movie, Search for SquarePants, will not be released until the end of 2025, on December 19th to be exact. Should you be interested in more updates, make sure to check out our latest movie previews for Inside Out 2 and The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. We hope by watching these previews, you get even more excited for their theatrical releases in 2024. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment telling us what you thought of this week's news. Thanks for watching.